sir or already we guess can, can we say we are we are extremely it's 6 33 <laughs> it's extremely evening yeah it is it is it is evening my bad good evening sir would you say that when you look at the totality of the three games this year the gap between the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills has shrunken significantly that if this team was a healthy team, there could have been, you know, results all over. Even in game two, they probably should have won that game. I can make plenty of cases for why they should have won that game overall, including Mike McDaniel's continued mismanagement of a game uh, as he does on a weekly basis, pretty much. Um, but would you say in totality that the Miami Dolphins fan should actually feel good about where this team is and where it's going and the gap it has closed between themselves and the Buffalo Bills? Well, I'll start off like I'll start off with this. After the uh, after their loss against, I think it was San Francisco. I walked into that locker room at Levi Stadium, and it was dead quiet, dead quiet. If people were talking, it was a whisper. Their heads were hanging. They looked defeated. They looked upset. They looked disappointed. I'm not saying that they weren't disappointing in that locker room tonight, but it was a completely different atmosphere. It looked like a team that was at peace with the effort that they just put out. The team that knew, like, we just we left it all out there. There's nothing collectively they can say that it was like wow there was no effort there like oh wow we just didn't we didn't play our best game they played their ass off for four quarters there for three and a half quarters there uh i've been saying since the summer maybe even before the summer i've been saying since last year week eight that the dolphins played the bills extremely freaking well i don't know about talent gap between them right now i i think just in a vacuum, the Bills are a better team than Miami is, even I think when both teams are healthy, when both teams are fully healthy. But one-on-one -on -one when they match up, there's no fear from Miami of this team. There's no fear. There's no intimidation of Buffalo. These The last, we'll call it, four games, even both of them last year, even the 35-0, have all been dogfights for the most part. Last year, Miami wasn't a good enough team to continue the fight into the fourth quarter. Last year, that fight ended and the better team elevated. This year, Miami is a better football team. So these dog fights were finished in the fourth quarter. Like they were able to hang in there in the fourth quarter. They beat them in week two. You, again, could argue they, they should have won. They blew it in, in, in week whatever the hell, week 15. And tonight, they shouldn't have even had a chance. They shouldn't have even had a chance. They had no offense. Every all the points they got saved the the, the long touchdown drive. Skyler led it. In, I think it was the fourth quarter, right? Saved that drive. Every offense, every point they got on offense was set up by a defensive turnover or a massive special teams play. There were no big plays on offense. There were no sustained drives. There was no run game. There was below replacement level, below replace below replacement level quarterback play. Like there's no reason on paper that this team should have been even in the in the contest at the fourth quarter, but there's no fear of the Buffalo Bills in Miami's locker room, and that's what we saw manifest itself today. Uh, I I hate playing the what if game. I know I I tweeted it. Like I, I honestly I was trolling a little bit. I was just kind of fucking around. You know, oh, Tua was healthy. Dot 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 dot. Like it's true. It, it was meant. It was meant to do exactly what the hell it did, <laughs> which is make Bills fans angry and inspire a little bit of a little spicy debate in the middle of an otherwise. You, you think kind of the Bills game. don't know? You think the Bills themselves don't see that the gap's been closed? They're like, this game ain't easy with these guys, no matter who's playing. Hey. They're they're giving us problems all the time now because they they were bitch slapping them for a few years now. Yeah, it was, it was ugly like for a while. 20, was, 20, 30 points easily. Every game we dreaded playing that game because they couldn't hang with them all three yeah, games. It was it was ugly. It was ugly for years. But uh, I, I forget even if Tua was healthy today. If they had just replacement level quarterback play, they win this game. And I know that somebody is typing as I speak, well, the drop passes. If they drop passes, they wouldn't. Multiple things can be true. 
Okay. Sure. Sure. Skylar Thompson didn't get a lot of help from his no. offensive playmakers today. Or, or his head coach. He didn't get a lot of help okay. today. So okay. when he was his, on. His head coach screwed he, him on that third down mid, midway through the game and then screwed him on the fourth down where it's fourth and one, and it's like, yo, bro, come on, and you made it fourth and six, and you're just putting this watch, kid in Watch a replay of fourth and six, watch Tyreek Hill, and then tell me that McDaniel put him in position to fail. First of all, watch Tyreek Hill on that fourth and six, and then come back and tell me that Sky yes. was set up for failure. No, no, no he wasn't. Listen, Hill was no, wide open. No, listen, that's not the point. The point is, open there, and Hill was open. He was open on third and nineteen as well. The, the like point was, is, the point is, you don't put your seventh rounder in that position because those things can happen. Marcel, he's not a seasoned veteran. You have to get the goddamn play in and convert the fourth and one so and move what, on. Do so not they put did. people in worse positions. That's what he did. You had so to make it elementary, did, like, what, not high what, school. What I noticed, what I I noticed. And I heard it throughout the week that they didn't feel like the Dolphins didn't feel like they had to change their playbook much with Skyler. They felt like they were going to call the same exact game. I was skeptical of that. But they called the exact same game as if Tua was starting a quarterback. They didn't change shit. There was no quick outs. There was no quickly getting the ball in your playmaker's hands. There were no, you know, no uh, manufacturing there's a, there space. A, there, no, there's not there a lot of no, play in the middle of the field. Like there, there is was no. Know. You don't attack the middle of the field. I think it's because I think it's Skyler missed it. I think Scott, again, there's two things. There's there's two things can be true. I didn't finish my thought. Skyler didn't get a lot of help, and Skyler didn't play particularly well. He didn't play particularly well. You're supposed both to, things are true. That's normal. I hey, expectations normal. are not. It's still reality. Like I'm not blaming him. I'm saying I'm calling what it is. He looked like a seventh round rookie quarterback making his right. first career playoff start against a really good defense. Right. That's exactly what it looked like. He didn't. He didn't play well. He wasn't expected to, and he didn't. Yeah. It's, I, I it's, mean, it's I not, haven't a, it's not something to all. be defensive over. It's but it's I, reality. I haven't been impressed with him at all all year. But today, I got to give him a little love, dude. I got to give him a little love. I thought he played with a little bit more awareness. Uh, I thought he he wasn't nearly you know as bad as he has been. He's made some plays. They dropped a bunch of like four passes were dropped. His coach just did not handle the game for him the right way at times. Overall for what he is, I, I can't pick on the kid, man. I can't kill look it's what we've been we've been saying for the past two and a half weeks or so, two, three weeks or so, where his processing clock has now right. slowed down to to a crawl. To a crawl. Yeah. Yeah. Um and it's understandable because he's a rookie. And that's the one thing that physically Skylar Thompson is who he is right now. He's 25 years old. You're not going to, he's not going to develop physically into some superstar, super, super athletic human, super, whatever. The, he, he is what he is athletically. His arm strength, his accuracy, it is what it is. It's up here that needs to develop. And so we saw today, I, I forgot the final count, but midway through the, set, the fourth quarter, 22 of his pass attempts took him more than two and a half seconds to throw yeah throughout right. the night i mean it, I, I talk a lot about i know i talk a lot about expending extending plays and, and going off script and all of that he was too far off script he was too far he was writing his own script he was way too oh, that, far he was out of the, the game that my play <laughs> that thing took like six seconds or something yeah he it had was, time to scan all over and then found Smythe, and i'm like bro you're not gonna have a half hour for every damn play right. there were times been, where I had I, I did a little parlay on uh, underdog. I had Skylar Thompson over ten and a half rushing yards because I thought easily they're going to drop so many back in coverage because they can take advantage of this offensive line with just four. They're going to drop so many back in coverage. He's going to have so many opportunities to run, and he had so many opportunities to run to just pick up his three yards, his four yards, his four, his four, his five. And he wouldn't do it. He kept keeping his eyes downfield. He kept trying to make throws that man, you just can't. You you don't have that arm, man. The, the the interception when he was targeting Sherfield that, that set the Bills up for ultimately yeah. a, a, a game ceiling touchdown. You don't have that arm, dude. Like you're going across you're going across the field and you try to put that on a rope. I saw I know why he tried to do it, because it was just a it was a small window. Right. But that takes an exquisite amount of touch, man. Like that's not that's a hard throw to make. This isn't Madden. That's a very hard throw to make. Especially in that circumstance, that deep in your territory, like there was just there were there were there were times where it's just it's taken him too long to make a decision, and that ultimately 
kept the offense from being productive today. I would almost rather, I would almost have rather, if I'm a Dolphins fan, almost rather just see him gun it and take shots and say, fuck it, I think the Tyreek's going to be open on this. I think Waddle's going to be, I think this window's going to be here. Because at least you're, you're making decisions. The infuriating thing is when you don't make a decision at all. Right. And then you wait too long, and then you make the wrong decision because your options are bad. Your options are limited. And that's kind of that's what we saw from Skylar Thompson today. It, it, it's there were there were moments there were moments the 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 third down conversion to I think it was it was Waddle that took them forty minutes to review for some reason on the sideline. Beautiful throw, beautiful throw. The one that Waddle dropped in the first quarter, beautiful throw. Yeah. The second one that. I mean, I, I can't call it a waddle drop. No, no, no. That was, defense, why that, that was a bad throw because it was underthrown. It allowed the defender to get into the play, and he made the play, and he he got out. If he leads waddle, you have if as long as waddle hangs on, it's a it's a touchdown. Yeah. There are certain there are some times though, like obviously you can't put every single defect or pass breakup on on the receiver. There are times where you expect your star to make a a play though. Like if, if if there's a play in week one where Tua should have thrown an interception against the Patriots, it was a, a such a stupid pass. But your thirty million dollar wide receiver Tyreek Hill goes up and snatches it from the jaws of life, from the jaws of death itself, and completes the pass for him. Right. Like sometimes you expect your star receivers to make a play, and Jalen Waddle had fourteen hundred receiving yards this year. Jalen Waddle's a star receiver. Every yeah. now and then, I you expect Jalen Waddle. He has you're going to have to look, man, you're gonna have to straighten those hands, strengthen those hands up, that grip up, and come away with some of these. Don't let it get knocked away. Remember, he lost. Stop jumping one, up. He, he lost the game this year all by himself with two brutal mistakes in one game that cost him a game, pretty much. So, yes, he's got – look, uh, Rob Hunt has had a terrific year. He picks up penalties every time. Uh, Kohu, who has been one phenomenal find. He has a little too many holds. Waddle, phenomenal receiver. He drops a little too much at times. He has a lack of concentration. Mike McDaniel, the next subject, a fantastic mind. No doubt can communicate with players. They play hard for him. They like him. He has mismanaged game after game. We are, I have talked about it many times now for several weeks. And today, the reason you walked into that locker room and those players felt great it's because their coach is the one that effed up that game for them today, basically. Okay? Because if everybody knows it, that guy screwed up this game today. How did Mike McDaniel handle the press conference, handle the responsibility and his constant mistakes with game management? I don't think I don't I don't think I'm just gonna sit here and bury Mike McDaniel though. Like I, I legitimately think Where's the shovel? They, Where's I, the shovel? I legitimately think they just didn't they weren't supposed to win this game. Like they weren't supposed that. to be in it. The, they weren't supposed to be in this game. I think That's they just like over, they they overachieved in this game. Like I I can't sit here and say like, wow, they really should have won. They should have no. I, I, with with the team that was active and took took the field, I, I don't think so. I don't think they should have won. Like I think they overachieved. I get that today. I get, and so I I'm get not. That. But I don't want to. I don't want to bury. Position, don't don't f it up. I can't bury the coach. I don't think they necessarily effed it up because then, like, we're we're still talking what ifs. Like, okay, say say they score with how, however the hell many much time left. My man was like, going for sure it on that. fourth down, on fourth down, and the Bills saved his ass with a timeout. And he saw the overthrown pass. And yeah, no, we'll we'll punt it this time. Like, of course you're supposed to punt it. But why would you but, go on fourth but, down? Your defense but, oh, is it was, giving the Bills oh, trouble. It was, Oh, it Changed was there. The position. Oh, huh? it was there. What are you talking about? But it's a seven. That was a touchdown. That was a touchdown. But you can't you, count on him to okay. find Tyreek Hill the, open. So you can't count was, on him it, to hit that shot all the I think time. It was, I think That's it was. I think it was Waddle. Waddle. Dropped the I think, ball because I think it was, it was Waddle. Throw. But like, but you can't. It, it's a fine. It's a fine line because you can't speak all week about. We have all this confidence in Skyler. We don't have. We don't feel like we have to change the Skyler. We know we expect him to do. Dude, it's 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 playoff time. It, you're not a rookie anymore. At the, you're not a rookie anymore. It's January. No, but Marcel, if, you, if you're in that position, you gotta keep it simple. If, oh, no, if you're in, if you're in that sense. position, 
If you're in no. that position, you are expected to make the play. The play was there. He had a step. He overthrew him. That, the play that, was there. We're not it. talking about this at all. If they connect on that and there's no timeout, like we're not saying, that, oh, that was a dumbass call to go for it. We're saying, well, wow, the ball's you, on that guy. Marcel, to go for it. you see the attempts and the, and the completions? Do you see the disparity between the two? This is who he is. What you have to stop players from as a coach is you put them in positions to succeed. In that position there, you punt because your defense has been giving you a chance all year long, by the way, not just in this game, but all year long. And guess what? Because of that overthrown pass and because of their timeout, you got a do-over and you were able to then redo the right thing, which was punt. And what did the defense do? It stopped it and got you the ball back. So they did their job. Look, and, and sometimes it, when it's fourth and one, get the call in and run. When you're in the Bills three weeks ago and you're running the ball and you're gouging them seven yards a carry and you get to third and one and third and two and third and three, keep it simple, stupid. Just keep running. But no, I he can, complicates things. He does I this can hold him. I can time. hold him accountable for week 15. I can hold him accountable for week 15. But there are scenarios here, like I said, like I've said throughout this conversation, the Dolphins weren't supposed to be in this game. They're playing with house money at that point. If you're down by whatever, whatever, you're down by three, you're down by 10 in a game where you're 14 point underdogs this late, like you had a lead in this, you're playing with house money at this point. You can't play scared. You can't play scared. You can't play conservative. At some point, like you have to try to be the aggressor. I get what he was going for. And again, it was there and we're having a totally different conversation if they connect on that play. Forget even the timeout. Like we're having a, a different conversation if they connected on that play, period. Because then we can say for sure, wow, they would have had it if not for the, if not for things. So like I can't blame you for going for trying to be, for trying to be aggressive here. Like at some point, field goals and punting isn't going to cut it. Like you need to, you need to do something extraordinary when you are this shorthanded and this much of an underdog if you're going to try to come out here and win the game. Like shout out to them for not. I say shout out to Mike for not just coaching. Like they're happy to be here, like they were still coaching to fucking win the game. Still yeah, but you're at your you're, you're at your thirty you're at your thirty four yard line, bro. No, Look, man, scared money don't make money. No, bro, you punt. <laughs> money don't you make punt. money, bro. That that's a what's what's the name of the guy from uh, the Chargers? Brandon, what's his name? Staley. That's Stay, no, yeah, that's that, one. That's thing a, that was where, a Brandon Staley call. There's that's one thing. When if you're not running the ball up twenty seven zero. Just like twenty-eight to three, you're not running the damn ball for some reason in the Super Bowl. Would would talk like you're not playing. It's different scenarios. They're different scenarios here. They didn't really have. They didn't even have a run game to go off of when they were up by four. To try hey, to by play the way, ball don't, control don't, here. don't say that because uh, Mike McDaniel's uh, mentor just did that in the Super Bowl with a twenty-five point lead on Tom Brady and say, "No, we'll keep passing the ball. We don't need to run." We're run oriented. Don't you, but we won't run the ball. Why? It, the, the thing is, they're not playing with like a multiple score. They're not protecting a multiple score lead. They're not. No, like, I, get, I get that. I get that. But know, I'm just it's, having it's fun. With the it's, yeah, oh, it's a different scenario. It's a different scenario. I will. Okay, like I can, I can, uh, you know, see eye to eye, whatever the the word is, uh, on his his clock management. I think it needs work. Like no, no, all kinds of things. Here, Gisicki. Like, Gisicki, dude. All of a sudden, he loses him in the last month. And what does Gesicki do? All he does is make plays. So for three quarters of the season, bro, you avoided this guy like he had the plague, like he had a disease. And that's a playmaker. Get him on the field. Find a way. For this season, tolerate it. Adjust. Show me that you can adjust. And he proved to me that he had problems because to him it was a square peg in a round hole every single time. And that's not what great coaches do. Great coaches, offensively, defensively, find a way to make do with what they have. Oh, man, I've got Ingram and Roberts. I can't catch them in the open field. That's going to screw my defense. But I got to deal with it. I got to play with it. You know what I mean? And you got to make the best of what you got with what you got. You know what I mean? And I didn't, I didn't think. I thought Boyer did the best with what he had. <laughs> Whereas I thought yeah. McDaniel had even more and he didn't use it and that kind I of thought hurt. that uh, i thought boyer was i thought he got burned on his aggression early in the game and uh i, I think he adjusted i think they spied josh allen a little bit more i love that i well, think it was did he a, get burned on his aggressiveness 
on the 52-yard completion to Diggs on third and 19. With X? Yeah, With there's X? no safety help. All, All right. right. And they set and, the house. Okay. There's no, three no, guys love, back in coverage. That one. I, I, love, I love that one. There was no safety help on the first play of the game. It wasn't the first play of the game. I, I, what are you I, talking no, about? No, no, you can't I have just it. Said both I said on third and third down in the first play of the game. You oh. can't have it both ways. My point no, is, oh, don't don't shift the conversation. It's like it's I, I said, no, I, you asked me when he got burnt on aggression. I, 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 I said just, they I went did, cover zero blitz on third and eighteen, you. and just you completed a fifty yard. No, you didn't. You got you admit that. Yeah, oh, my bad. I got the play wrong. Or I, no, no, I, I, no, I no, misunderstood listen, what you're saying, Marcel. Listen to me. Listen to me. I just told you that Boyer did with what he has. Well, if you have X, well, then you're going to have your safety worry more about the other people, and you're going to take your chances with X. Whether you're blitzing or not blitzing, none of you get the luxury to pull out of your fucking ass, hey, roll the safety over. That doesn't go that way. Later in the game, they rolled the safety over to X, and guess what happened? They burned Kohu. There was no but there was you no guys, safety guys, on the field. Everybody you guys was in use these arguments to you. It's a cover. It's a cover zero. You asked me. You asked me when did he get burned on his aggression, and I just told you they and went I, cover zero. I they went engaged you, in, and they and got I burned. Think to you that that's There's a lazy no, argument you're using. Like how is it a lazy things? argument? You asked me when did they get burned. I said they literally Defense got burned on his aggression. Because no, you do not. Ninety-nine percent of the time, on you third have and fifteen. No, the hell you do not. On third and 15, no, you do not. Because you have to protect the other guys, not X. You have to take your chances with your veteran. You have to take your chances. This guy cannot cover for everybody. He has to worry about on one third and 15. On oh. any down. On any down with X. This you isn't any down. Won't. You have no This choice. wasn't any down. This was third and 15. You you asked me a specific question, and I gave you specific answers, and now we're talking about and, and, and generalities. I and I countered it. I countered no, you it. Didn't counter it. <laughs> you didn't counter it. Like they literally, there's no arguing it. They got burnt like that. I don't give a and shit if they have to do it or they don't have to do it. They got they burnt. Blitz, they're going to get burned whether they blitz or they don't because X is what he is, unfortunately. He's playing at 70%. And the one time they went over to X, he got Kohu. <laughs> so one time. You can't win. It's what I'm trying to tell you. You guys want to win a chess game that's unfortunately you cannot win because you do not have enough chess pieces to go up against the king. And that's the problem, that he's going to burn you at one point or another, whether you like it or I, not. Because I X have, is not 100%. I have no problem. I, I have no problem with them blitzing. I didn't say that they should never have blitzed. I said I felt like they got burned on their aggression early. That's ex that is exactly what happened. So it's all I didn't right. say, I didn't say, oh, it's the wrong. I didn't say it was the wrong call. This was stupid. This was this. This was that. I said they got burned for their aggression, whether they had to be or not, because Josh Allen's going to pick you apart either way. Blitzing at least gives you a chance. But you don't have to send eight people on third and 15. Oh, you don't have to send, you don't have to do that. You can send five. You can send six. You don't have to send eight on third and 15. No, the fuck it didn't work. Later on this, in the game, there. it did work. Later on in the it game, it work did there. work. Well, who, who forced the fumble, dude? That was the blitz. You just asked me when. I I don't. I feel like we talk in circles sometimes. I said he got burned on his aggression early. So, like, whatever happens on later in the game, if they blitz 8 on 3rd and 15 at some other situation that I'm not aware of, then let me know, chat. But let me know. When they forced the I fumble don't, on. The one they it's forced the fumble on. Wasn't it Eric 15? Rowe? Wasn't it Eric no, that Rowe? Wasn't on, there wasn't third and 15 Whatever on an said, engage they eight. They set the house on his ass anyways. What, what I'm saying is they're going to get there sometimes. They're not going to get there sometimes. They're going to get burned on base defense. They're not going to get burned on base defense. You can't use it to your luxury when it works or when it doesn't work. That You say, oh, you only my, point out when it doesn't work. Because it does work like, sometimes. This is why you were in the game. My entire, but like, but what did, all, what all did I just say? He got burned on his aggression early. I thought he did a good job of sticking with it. Like, is that not literally what I just said? Yes. Like, that, you focused on what? Then you said, when did he get burned early? I told you he got burned early. I, I just, I just your, want to make sure your, because first, your explanation was like using. ignoring what I just said. Like, I just no, said, no, did a good job. I, of I have an entire. Everybody's using that one. Everybody's using that one, and then they leave out the other one.
And that's my problem with it. That's there was no problem. other one early. Like that's what I'm saying. Like early, they got burned on their aggression early. You get, but you, it, they had to do it. Sure, sure. You can't just sit there with your thumb up your head, but not on third, not on third. Not with you that, don't dude. have to send the house. You, you got, you got to keep house. them off balance. That guy is too dangerous, bro. That guy's a Look, monster. I just, I, I had a tweet that said like the adjustments Boyer made deserves as loud of recognition as the criticism of his of his early aggression. Like I, I just said, I said it on, on record. I thought this was the best game that Boyer called. I thought he, he stuck true to his, he stuck true to his game. They made adjustments. They put the spy on Allen. They kept blitzing. They kept him off balance. They kept him uncomfortable. That's like, it, 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 it worked in the long run, but that's literally what I said. They got burned early and stuck with it. Like they, they stuck with it. You could have adjusted. You could have said, okay, forget it. We're never, we're not blitzing anymore. We're okay. We're going to drop nine back in cover we could we they could play it scary but they didn't but they absolutely got birth on it early in the game stefan diggs was cooking x's lunch early in the game i don't know why they stopped throwing to stefan diggs in the second half he was a, he also he you know and your miami's lucky one target in the second the half bill, or the bill's like offense that. will make mistakes that's the good thing about it that if, if you if, if you can give them some trouble then you're going to force them into some mistakes. So let me ask you something, because obviously X is a shell of what he normally is. I think he needs an off season, and then next year you'll get a chance to to get a, a, a healthy X back, and hopefully he'll have a better year. You can tell he's a, sh a shell of himself. Kohu, has, has he shown you enough to play on the outside and no, take over for Byron? Yeah, I think he'll be fine. I think he's, he's young. They're situa he's young. He's playing with the cast as well on his right hand. Like it, it makes it difficult. It, it's a difficult thing for a corner to do. Like you would think on it, ironically, you would think that it would keep you from holding, but like it, it, there's certain things like the more tape he watches, the more uh, routes he sees, the more double moves he sees, the more like it, it, these things aren't going to fool him anymore. I think they found a, they found a, a, a gem. They found a real gem in him, man. Um, he's back. I've said already. Byron Jones is not back on this current contract next year. Oh, no, he's done. Uh, he's not even coming back, bro. They're not going to bring him back no matter what. I think Byron's gone this year. X will be gone next year, but X and his agent will know that. So X will have all the reason to come back next year healthy and be motivated because he's either going to be motivated for Miami to extend his current deal and, you know, whatever, or, it, you know, move on to the next team that is going to want him in his early 30s at that point, and they're going to say, well, do we take a chance? Oh, he's had a good year, that kind of stuff. So I think indirectly Miami next year gets a self-motivated X because he doesn't know what his destiny is in 2024, whether he's staying in Miami or going, because there's no I way they release X and Byron next year, this offseason. I'd say if, you can if, forget if, about I'm, that. if I'm X, if I'm, if I'm Zayvon Howard, uh, I spend the offseason – uh, I spend the off season trying to trying to develop my soft tissue durability. Like, I, however, it, however it means, if it means changing your diet, if it means changing your your workout plans, you know, less bulk, more flexibility, whatever it takes, because that's what generally pains him. Is it's it's a groin, yeah. it's a hamstring, it's soft tissue stuff, and that stuff yeah. lingers. It doesn't go away. X played through injuries. He had to. If he didn't. This team is screwed. Even Tad X is better than whatever they would have gotten without X. No, he made so, some plays today. He made some plays at the end there. He, he did a couple of things, bro. I mean, I know you can tell, dude, when he got the interception, watching him run it back. Look at him, dude. You can tell he's running back gingerly. That's not – this is not the guy that I'm used to seeing. I can tell right away. But agree with – you agree with me on here, right? Let's just send the Dolphin Nation this. They're, they can release Byron Jones, but they're not. There's no way fiscally that they could release I, both guys. So just in case for people I out really, there, X will be here. I'm not next even. Week. I'm right. not even entertaining. I'm not even entertaining suggestions that they're cutting Xavier Howard. That's exactly. Asinine. Thank you. Thank I'm not asking. I'm also not entertaining Derek Carr to Miami. Please stop. Oh <laughs> that, no, guys! What the? F have you watched Derek Carr play? Come on, man. Like Derek Carr plays scared football more often than not. Like, that's not going to be fun for you guys. You're not going to enjoy that shit. You're not going to enjoy no. it. At least Tua took shots all throughout the season. That's not what you're getting with Derek Carr. He's efficient. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's efficient, but he plays scary football, man. Like, what? The, stop. The grass is not yeah. always greener, dude. I, I said before, it's going to take a 
Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady. Other than that, I've seen Tua at his best now. I'm putting it up with any quarterback that is presumably available. I'm putting it over Derek Carr. I'm putting it over. Oh, by Apple. the way, I'm the putting Brady over thing. Trey Lance. I'm putting it over Lamar Jackson, who oh. also doesn't play football in December. Like that triple yeah. option would be hella fun to watch with Lamar, Tyreek, and Jalen. Sure, but regular like, season. Like regular Lamar's season. got just as much. And by the bit. way, I I gotta say, Marcel, I think whoever signs Brady, that's the father time contract. I think that's the I, I I saw it already this year that he was getting old. I I would be very scared. Whatever if it's the looks like the Raiders, that would be so Raiders that he goes there and he gets old. It'll remind me of Trace Armstrong. Trace Armstrong came here towards the end of his career. He ha, he signed a three year contract with Shula. Jimmy took over the uh, the 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 last year that Trace was here, his third year, but he had three good years consecutively opposite of Jason no one year with Shula two years with Jimmy and and he had good years opposite of Jason Taylor he got a big ass contract from the Raiders and could never live up to it because they signed him at an older age and it kind of went off I think whoever signs Brady that next two-year deal is going to get the guy that falls right off the cliff that's what I think is going to happen that's just maybe me. but I don't know I trust I trust Brady to make smart decisions and I trust him to play an entire season so like yes yeah 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 you're right he'll take care of himself it, it would literally it would take that like that's un, yeah. that's what i'm saying it would it would take that but uh i don't uh, if that caliber of, of players not coming to miami then it's gonna be too much like let's let's, let's and by the way the we uh months, please we reported on thursday that uh, the dolphins were moving forward in 2023 with tua but apparently uh, Schefter also reported today that they're moving forward with tua so uh your thoughts on that i don't think it i think it's similar to jay glazer reporting that tua wanted to play in the playoffs like yeah we know <laughs> we we know that Tua is gonna be the guy next year that's all they've been saying for the past three four five whatever months well no like, people are convinced they're gonna go after brady because of the owner so thoughts on that like I said, like they can't come out and say, like reports aren't going to come out and say, we're not getting anything out of this organization that suggests that they're going after a player who is currently under contract. Like we're not, they just got pinched for tampering. They got hammered for tampering. Forget pinched, got hammered for tampering. This organization is Fort freaking Knox. We're not getting any leaks. You're not going to hear, oh, they're interested and they're interested. If you hear it, it's, it's cap. If you hear it, it's cap. Nothing's coming out of this organization. They are not losing another first round pick. Steven Ross is not parting ways with another million dollars because if they get caught again, it's going, the price is going up. Like yeah, no. it's not happening. Like So like all we're going to hear is, yeah, we're going to move forward with the guy in our organization. Like I'm not shocked at all. I'm not surprised at all. You shouldn't be either, guys. Like it's, you, oh, no, 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 no. There's lots of people shocked, bro. Remember, the hate for like, Tua is deep. People don't believe in the kid. We are not hearing so, you know. shit from this. Or we are not hearing any leaks. There's nothing that is clamped. I promise. It's clamped. Nobody's going to talk about that, man. So, like, we're not going to, even if they're interested in Brady, if they're interested in Rodgers, interested in Car we're not going to hear any of those rumors until those players are legitimately available. Like, they're doing, they're going to do it by the absolute book, man. So, that's uh that is that's that's my piece. What what do you think uh the win against the Jets and the performance today, even though there's some holes in his performance overall, but what did it do for Mike McDaniel for the organization and the ownership? What do you think? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. He wasn't getting fired. That would be no, no, that no, would no, be no 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 not about fired. Do they feel better about him? Is what I mean. Actually, that's not what I, I don't mean it in the negative. Oh sense. oh oh. I oh, mean the, I think... the stronger finish with the limited roster and quarterback. How much did that kind of help him in their eyes? Is what I mean. I don't think it really put moved the needle. I think the team, this organization, believes in him. I think his players believe in him. I think it's clear. We just saw it today. It's clear that they play for him. Um, like I think he's a rookie as well. Like he's gonna learn a couple of things. He's gonna learn clock management. He's gonna learn situational football or like situational play calling. Like I think it's 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 gonna be fine. I I don't know if this is gonna be the same group of assistants next year, but uh, 
I think that uh, I, I think Mike McDaniel's always been safe. Percentages from one to a hundred that Jason Sanders returns. Sixty. Sixty percent percentages that special teams coach Danny Crossman returns. Two. Two percent. Two percent. Oh, percentages he can't come back he can't come back but like never say never percentages <laughs> that josh boyer returns as defensive coordinator 40 okay 40 i think i think what they were able to do to finish off this game gives him a little bit of a talking point um uh, i think they're going i think they would listen to him um uh, you know about the uh i think they'll listen to him if he says you know I didn't have a whatever defense. I didn't have a full defense. They were they were that hurt. They were that because they were that injured. They were the names are insane. Brandon, Byron, Needham, Ogba, Flowers, like the names go on and on. Even shit X, Trill, like the names go on. So like I, I think he has a legitimate gripe. But uh, I think that if Vic Fangio were to commit to come. Vic Fangio is their defensive coordinator. I think if they're going elsewhere, that's their number one target. That's that's my understanding. That's their number one target. I don't know right. if him following Sean Payton, I don't know if that pack that reported package deal is as concrete as it was reported to be. All right. Follow him on Twitter at Marcel underscore LJ and catch his work there at ESPN. Marcel, appreciate you as always for providing us the edge. Yes, sir. We'll talk Thursday. Awesome. You got it. That's right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Actually, it'll be during the week now. There will be no more Sunday. We'll have two during the week. Anyway, thank you, Marcel. Appreciate you. Remember, myedgedrink.com for the finest energy drink on the planet. Delicious, smooth, and zero aftertaste. MyEdgeDrink.com, only 78 calories. Use our code Big O. You will get 10% off. Order it to your home, to your office. A great elixir. I mix it with my Grey Goose, and it is the best. It makes the Grey Goose absolutely disappear. So go to MyEdgeDrink.com. Use our code Big O and get 10% off on the finest energy drink on the planet. This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show.